Welcome to JSA TV Live, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Dean Perrine coming to you live from MetroConnect 2023 in the beautiful Fort, uh, we are in Fort Lauderdale yeah, this are, year, yeah. not Miami, in beautiful <laughs> Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the Venice of North America, I'm told it is. And I'm here with my new friend, Mr. Luke Kipfer. Luke is the Vice President of Data Center Development and Construction at Powerhouse Data centers, Luke, welcome to JSA TV. Hey, thanks to be here. I love talking powerhouse and I love talking data centers and you guys are always willing to listen. So I'm, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Outstanding. Well, that's what we're gonna do right now. So Luke, for our uh, viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell us a little bit about powerhouse data and uh, what you need. Yeah, so super excited about powerhouse data centers. Mm -hmm. uh, powerhouse is a division of American Real Estate Partners, ARAP. Um, it's their data center technical division. So AREP has been a developer, um, you know, across the East Coast for over 20 years, uh, over 20 billion in acquisitions, 200 million square feet. So long history um, developing real estate assets um, in the Northeast, across the country, um, in both good and bad economic times. Um, so in 2020, 2021, 21, really started uh, acquiring some lead, some key strategic land sites mm -hmm. throughout Northern Virginia. Um, last year, we officially launched the Powerhouse brand. Uh, so now we've got you know over 600 megawatts of uh, deployment of data center in um, development or construction right now. Very good. So let's go ahead and talk about that development. I understand that you are uh, you are planning to build six data centers in Northern Virginia, in the heart of Data Center Alley, as we like to call it, as you very well know. Um, what can you tell us a little bit about the progress of those six builds there in Northern Virginia? Yeah, so we got ABX1, that's right on the corner of Bowman Circle, that was our first property acquisition. Uh, that's going vertical now. We actually have the topping off ceremony uh, next month. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got that building delivery in October of, next, of this year. Uh, so we're really excited that that's in a, a key strategic location. Mm -hmm. And that's really our, our first building to go to the market. Uh, we've got our powerhouse specific site, which is the old AOL world headquarters. Um, so we've got a, a redevelopment of that site and planning now. Uh, that's going to be three building, 265 megawatt, um, a real hyperscale campus there. And then we've got a site in Arcola across from the Google Data Center. Um, you know, we're um, 120 megawatt, two building campus that we're uh, designing there as well, too. Very good. So uh, you're segueing better than I could ever segue myself. So um, let's talk a little bit about that Arcola project. What uh, what can you tell our viewers about that one specifically? You know, that, that, that's a great one. It, it, it's a key location. Uh, we've got an on-site substation from Dominion being planning right now. Uh, right across from Google, that, that Arcola market south of ashburn is really picking up in terms of development mm -hmm. um and it, it's a great site that's um you know entitled ready to go uh with power uh well uh, first delivery in early 26 so that, that's really one of the key sites that's, that's really gonna help out an end user i love it so uh now for something a little bit more fun uh, i understand that you are partnering with uh seven by 24 data center chapter for a five K race. Um, probably not something that I myself would be doing, but why don't you tell us a little bit about the 5K and what that's all about? Yeah, so it, it's at, um, we're hosting it at our uh, Power Off Pacific site. Um, so right in the center of Data Center Alley. Mm -hmm. It's um, 7 by 24. It's a DC chapter. Okay. Um, they're, they're a local chapter that we're partnering with. Um, they've got some amazing folks over there that are um, doing all the planning and coordination for the race. Um, we're doing the easy part. We're just providing a place for them to host it. Um, but very excited that, uh, you know, I, I live right in Ashburn. I live right down the road. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, very active in the data center community and also in our, our local Northern Virginia community as well. So love to do events like this where, where the public can come. They can learn about data centers. Um, we've got a, a job fair going on. There's food trucks, um, you know, and if you love running around big concrete buildings, I mean, that's that's a place to be. <laughs> I, I imagine. <laughs> I mean, hanging out at big concrete buildings, uh, fine. Running yeah. around them, probably not my uh, thing. No, but a... <laughs> I get it. But um, uh, Luke, one of the things that I am absolutely sure that we are going to be discussing um, uh, at length over the over 2023 and well beyond that is sustainability. Yeah. So why don't you tell us? Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, any sustainability efforts that you uh, you folks might have going on over there at Powerhouse Data yeah. Centers. Yep. So recently we just joined the iMasons Climate Accord, mm -hmm. uh, which which is something, you know, I, I've been an iMasons member and sustainability has always been one of their four key pillars. Uh, but, you know, when they launched the Climate Accord, that was a great opportunity for us to be able to coordinate with the rest of the industry on what they're mm -hmm. doing in standards. So, uh, you know, everyone's got their, their own metrics, everyone's tracking different things. So it's very challenging as an industry for us to figure out 
Um, we, we don't know if we're getting better if we don't know where we're at. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the climate accord really puts everyone on the same page. And the other thing it does is it brings the hyperscalers into the conversation. So they've done a very good job of, of getting those key, um, you know, those key customers, those, those key users in the market that are really driving um, the demand and driving the change of technology in the marketplace. So, you know, we've got a forum where we can work directly with them to understand, you know, what kind of product they're looking for and how we can help them in their uh, sustainability goals as well. I love it. So let's talk more about sustainability, maybe at the uh, the next show that I see you at. Sound good? Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, Luke, if uh, the first interview at uh, Metro Connect 2023 is uh, a litmus test for the rest of the day, I think things are going to go just fine for us today. So thank you for being here today. We yeah, appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. You absolutely. bet. And thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.